Radford Coffee Company got started as a byproduct of trying to help people in Nicaragua on the Cocoa River. Originally, we thought we were going to go down there and live, but then we realized that the school system down there is already being run by indigenous folks, but they needed extra support monetarily. So we opened Radford Coffee Company to help that education project in Nicaragua. We had 1,800 students and 54 teachers. We chose Radford because we have five children and four of them are in this area. And it's an adorable little town. We love the people, we love the countryside, we love the mountains, all those things. So we were living right outside of DC and we decided why should we spend $10,000 a month to live when we can spend two and be near our family. Radford kind of surprised us, I suppose. When we first moved here, we were a little bit nervous because we were used to the fast pace. Coming here and seeing kind of how the small town operates. I grew up, my earlier years were in Appalachia and Kentucky. So for me, it was more like coming home. I've lived in a lot of places around the world and this is one of the most beautiful with the mountains and the trees. And I have come to really appreciate the small townness of it. It's just fascinating to be part of a uh, very much of a family community where we know each other and can help each other in times of need. So it's kind of a beautiful setting with beautiful people. We are hoping to be an example of what Radford can be and is becoming because as we have renovated, other places have renovated, we have a new brewery in town, we have Brickhouse Pizza that serves craft beer in town. So we're growing and we are on an upward swing and I just see great things happening here. We designed the shop to make it feel like we were walking into someone's living room and we wanted it to be a place where people could come and feel loved and comfortable and be able to talk to each other and just be kind of a meeting place. And it really has done that. Coffee, I think, is a very unique process. It's actually in the Middle East where it comes from, in Yemen, it's referred to as the friendship drink. People sit down together and they share a cup of coffee because it's a process. It gets roasted, it gets ground, it gets brewed, and then it gets passed around and you share in that. And for us, it's a really important thing to take care of a product that's been handled by hand in the mountains on the other side of the earth where they've spread it out and they pick through it and it's completely done all by hand. And so when we receive the coffee, we have a genuine respect for that product to respect where it came from and also to respect our customers that are gonna be consuming that. Our coffee would be considered to be small batch coffee because we roast it in very small amounts and give very special attention to how that coffee turns out in the end product. So how you roast it can either make it chocolatey possibly or more fruity or the range in between. And so that's the fun part of specialty coffee is that it's very much a hands-on artistic artisan way of preparing uh, coffee to, to get different flavors out of it. We source our beans whenever possible from you know, direct farm, so it's high altitude, fair trade, a lot of it's organic coffee beans. So the beans that we buy, we try to have the same kind of philosophy from who we buy our beans from that we have here, where we're trying to give back to our communities, give back to the people who are doing the hard work of harvesting it. I feel like it's, it's something that we can used to pull people together and we can share around that around that common cup and and just grow a little closer together. 